everyone, this is Yekantana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation. So we are going to reduce the given differential equation to linear equation form. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square plus 1 into dy by dx plus 4xy equals to 1 by x square plus 1. Solution. Given differential equation. x square plus 1 into dy by dx plus 4xy equals to 1 by x square plus 1. That's what the given equation is equation 1. Now we have to reduce this to standard form of linear equation. We know that the standard form of linear equation, linear equation in y, is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, where p and q are functions of x alone or constants. Okay, so now if you notice the coefficient of dy by dx must be 1, right? But here in our equation, we are having x squared plus 1, so we'll eliminate this. So in order to eliminate this, we have to divide the whole equation by x squared plus 1. Okay? Divide by dx plus 4xy by x squared plus 1 equals to 1 by x squared plus 1 into x squared plus 1. Or, I wrote directly here. Now, Let's see what happens if we divide the whole equation by x squared plus 1. Right? Simply we will divide the whole equation that is LHS and RHS by x squared plus 1. There. If you notice in the numerator of LHS, you are having two terms and in the denominator you are having one term. Okay, consider this as one term and x squared plus 1 as another term and 4xy as another term. Okay, then you can split the total expression into two terms. You will get x squared plus 1 into dy by dx by x squared plus 1 plus 4xy by x squared plus 1 equals to 1 by x squared plus 1 into x squared plus 1 is x squared plus 1 whole square. Right? Now, x squared plus 1 gets cancelled from the first term, then you'll get dy by dx plus 4xy by x squared plus 1 equals to 1 by x squared plus 1 into x squared plus 1, which is x, x squared plus 1 whole square, right? Fine. Then, this becomes dy by dx plus 4x by x squared plus 1. I'm writing functions of x separately into y equals to 1 by x squared plus 1 into x squared plus 1 is x squared plus 1 whole square. Now, we have eliminated the coefficient of dy by dx to 1, right? So, we have removed this and we got 1 as the coefficient of dy by dx. So, now, by comparing these two, we can say that we have reduced the given equation to linear equation in y form, dy by dx plus something into y equals to this one, right? So here, it is linear and y. Again, by comparing these two, we'll get p and q. Where p equals to 4x by x squared plus 1, which is a function of x, right? 
and q equals to 1 by x squared plus 1 whole square. See, it does not involve any y or any other variable. It involves only variable x. So, we call it as function of x alone, right? Now, we'll find integrating factor. We know that integrating factor of this equation is given by e power integral p dx. Okay, so before going to integrating factor, let's evaluate integral p dx. First integral for p equals to 4x by x squared plus 1 into dx. Since we know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. Right. Now let f of x equals to x squared plus 1. The f dash of x equals to that is derivative of f of x with respect to x is derivative of x squared with respect to x 2x plus derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 which is equal to 2x. So integral f dash of x that is 2x by f of x that is x squared plus 1 into dx equals to log mod x squared plus 1. We won't write any constant here. We'll write later in the general solution. Okay. We'll add finally. So now in order to apply this formula here, we need a 2 instead of 4, right? Then only we'll get 2x by x squared plus 1 into dx. Then we can replace. So, let's write or split 4 as 2 into 2. And everything remains the same, right? Now, take this 2 outside the integral. You'll get 2 into integral 2x by x squared plus 1 into dx, right? Since integral 2x by x squared plus 1 into dx is log mod x squared plus 1, then this becomes two into log mod x squared plus 1, okay? We got using this formula, right? This equals to, you can just write this as 2 log x squared plus 1. And also we know that m log n can be written as log n power m. Then you can write 2 log x squared plus 1 as log x squared plus 1 whole square. Okay, so we got integral p dx equals to log x square plus 1 whole square. Now, coming to the integrating factor, then integrating factor becomes e power. Integral p dx is replace this and get log x square plus 1 whole square. Since we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x, then we can write this as function of x, that is x squared plus 1 whole square, right? So, x squared plus 1 whole square is a integrating factor. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that The general solution of linear equation in x is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus integral constant c. So now using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is 
y into integrating factor x square plus 1 whole square equals to integral q for q equals to 1 by x square plus 1 whole square into integrating factor x square plus 1 whole square into dx plus c. So here x square plus 1 whole square x square plus 1 whole square gets cancelled is equals to integral dx plus c. We know that integral dx is x plus c. Therefore, y times x square plus 1 whole square equals to x plus c is the required solution to the given equation. We have seen a problem from linear equation and y in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.